Hey guys, so here we are with Angel, season two, episode nine. And in the last episode, it was very interesting because Angel, so the episode before last, Darla, uh, he rescued Darla basically. Um, and she, at the end of that episode, she ran away and told him not to find her because she wanted him to turn her back into a vampire and he refused to do it. Uh, so after she had left, the last episode, he's been kind of like bummed out or whatever. And he found this case where he was going to kind of start working again. So um, he went into this one apartment where he thought like Darla was at or whatever, but it ended up being Kate. She ended up... Um, like looking around and stuff because of everything that Darla had done. And uh, so Kate was in the last episode, um, but he f was pretending to be another vampire, a very extroverted, colorful vampire, which was really entertaining to watch him uh, be. And then uh, they were going to go rob. He was undercover. He was going to go rob um, a, a museum and get this shroud this magical shroud but pretty much it made everybody crazy so like anyone who got near it and he was starting to get a little cuckoo and Kate showed up he ended up biting her but he like he was trying to make it look real so he did it but then he told he like whispered to her to like stay on the ground, pretend like you're dead, because if you don't, they're going to kill you. And um, so she trusted him. And um, that's a little bit of a change in their relationship. Uh, and then he ended up destroying the shroud at the end of the last episode. Um, also, I think him and Gunn's relationship got a little stronger, too, because of everything that they had went through in the last episode as well. Um and then Cordelia got a haircut, uh, and Wesley is still dating that one girl, I think, as far as we're aware. I think her name is Virginia. So, yeah, but um, anyway, excited to see what the rest of this season's going to be like, but yeah. So, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. He's coming. Hi, guys. What's up? Nothing. Well, was he working out so or something? So you were doing your laundry? But I can't do it for her. And uh, I know that now. We had tea. In the uh. meantime, there's nothing I can do but let go. I found Darla. Oh. It wasn't easy, but you said keep looking, and my wide range of knowledge of LA's low rent motels finally paid off. You lied to us. I did, oh. I know. Why? I figured you'd nag. Royal Viking Motel. Conveniently located mere steps from scenic Skid Row. Who is she calling? Hot no more. They'll be looking for her, too. We're not going to enable you in your addiction! Didn't He's we learn anything asking from them tea? to go. How did she get the money for that motel? Was it housekeeping? Oh, Lindsay. Oh, he got a haircut. We would never force you to do anything against your will, darling. Uh-huh. It wasn't my will to be here in the first place. I never asked for this life. I no. told you they were not going to stop no finding her does. or looking for her. God doesn't give us a say in these matters. You are, however, our moral responsibility. Were they going to give her like a fuck ton of money or something? Did, did you know anything about this? Yep. No, we're prepared to deal with the situation any way you see fit. That's up to you. We just thought you should know. What? Is it like proof that she killed that one guy? When you're desperate, you do what you have to do. Sweet. More backstory. At least in Romania. Mm. They really know how to treat a creature of the night. You were craving rich food. That's what you said. Something French. 
In Transylvania. The valley seems quiet. You always make the best of it now, don't you? I always feel like they always thought about sex during this day and age with these two. Especially with the proper companion. Uh oh. Bastards! Hard to believe. Is kind of she on a condition. date? But now, something about the teeth, I guess. Chicks go crazy for it. You've never considered making yourself a mate. How do you mean? Well, isn't it true? Does he know how to some change someone? Immortal. You're serious about this? <laughs> so what? I make you, and then you'd be like my immortal babe? Yes. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I should probably mention, I, I'm not real clear on how this thing works. What? Yeah, well, that's what I thought. I was I like, watch, he's not going to know how to uh, do it. To anybody before, and I was kind of out when it happened to me. What the hell do you think you're doing? Saving you. Best you. This isn't the answer. You don't even know what the question is. Why can't you leave me alone? Uh, you do this I wonder thing. what Wolfram and Hart don't you get that? was I'll talking to her about. I'll never leave you alone. Next time it'll be you on the end of the stake. You know, just because we had a thing for 150 years, don't presume you know me. So you really want to be made by some creep in some filthy alley? <laughs> Been with each other for 150 years, I he doesn't know you. Do it. That'll never happen. Then that's why I she goes for the... Anyway, you were made in an alley. In the recall. dives. That's not the... Don't throw that away before you have the opportunity. I'm dying. Mm. Yeah. Yep. And not some time, not later. Now. Right now. They showed me the medical files. That's the what they showed the her. Same thing. I've got about two months left, three at the most. So if you'll excuse me, I'm in sort of a hurry. I wonder if that's the original sickness that she had. I can't remember. I don't think they ever said what she had. I just assumed maybe it was the plague. Even death with the right companion. <laughs> What's she doing? I hope you survive this, Angel. She's just ditching him? Maybe we'll meet again in Vienna. So maybe more than the one night. And you believe it's some kind of trick? We're talking about Wolfram and Hart. Of course it's a trick. They're trying to play some kind of mind game. I don't think it's a trick. To what end? I don't know, but we're not going to take the bait. No, you just don't want to believe it, that's all. I don't want to believe anything from them. So, sorry about the dying, but if you try to escape, we will hit you. On the head. <laughs> Very large and heavy objects. Okay. I wonder if she actually respects the upfrontness for once. Wipe your feet. You can come in. Jeez, I invited you in already. Mm -hmm. It's probably because he does care about Darla. And Lindsay, I think, is a good person. I just think he's been through a lot. Does it really look like you need to throttle me for information? That's my own personal doctor. They all say the same thing. Syphilitic heart condition. Terminal. Oh, it's, like it's a heart condition. A girl in the new world. Now she's human again. Kind of picking up where she left off. Oh. So first day, something like that could be cleared up with a few antibiotics. If you catch it in time. Why? Why? Because I don't want her to die any more than you do. Because he loves her. Do you love her, Lindsay? Is that what this is? But you never loved her. Nope. I wasn't capable of it. Neither are you. Maybe not. I think he can. I'd save her if I could. If I were to do it, if I turned her, how long do you think it would be before she hunted you down and had you for breakfast? <laughs> Gotta say, I mean, that mm -hmm. thought alone almost makes it worth it. It's but a Darla, there's so. Another way, and I'll find it. Was it good news? Does it look like it's good news? Just give me a minute, will you guys? I don't want to die. I can't give you what you want. It's what I need. No, it's not what you need, darling. Really, it's not. I don't know what you need. I wish I did. The thing is, is like, if that's what she wants, then shit, just give it to her at this point. You know what I mean? Because... If it were him, then yeah, he wouldn't want it. Okay. So, but that's him. He's trying to make her want something that she doesn't want. Let me rest today. 
way better than Angel. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? Ooh. It means ooh. Ground control to Major Tom. We may not be able to save this bird. I'm gonna save her and you're gonna help me. I get what he's doing. I mean, what I would do is the same thing that Angel's doing, except for the part, like, at the end of the day, if they don't find anything, then just give her what she wants. Oh, he's just testing me. It's this whole leap of faith thing. Then don't do it. Angel, some green-faced horned lounge singer asks you to do something, and you just do it? He's never steered him wrong before. I shall be assisting you with the trials, sir. Darla. Oh. They brought her there. Why is she here? To wish to save her life. She will be made whole. What happens if I don't complete the trials? What does that mean? She dies instantly. Made whole. In the meantime, Dala, you can relax with an iced beverage in our antechamber. <laughs> okay, that's one. What's two and three? Oh, I really wouldn't know about the last two tests, sir. No one's I ever made it that far. the first one. <laughs> Did that hook his leg? Seconds. Already twice the time most others have lasted. Does he still have the hook through his leg? Oh shit. Oh. He's not defeated. Probably should have chopped off his head too. Okay, but chop off the head too. I'll have to rewind that, but I could have sworn that we saw a lower half of the body, but it was like green screened or something. Oh, I have no feelings about this contest one way or another, miss. Do you? Well, probably. So we can't lean on the walls. Oh, of course. Holy water. Holy water. He's gonna go through all that and hopefully she's still not gonna wanna be a vampire. Of course, there is one final challenge. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, shit. We can't restore one life without taking another. Is yeah. It? Balance. In order for Dala to live, you must die. My death wouldn't balance the thing, sir. Yours, on the other hand, I die. He's not this. living. Yes. Mind if I ask you a question? Isn't the world a better place with you in it? You can save so many people. What would Darla Seems do? She can barely save herself. Do it. I don't obviously he's not dead. That was a catch. Angel. Who? He can't do anything. What? What is it? This is very embarrassing. What is? Not to mention unprecedented. She's not human. Been given new life once before. By supernatural means, yes? Vampire. They brought me back. Oh. What are you saying? I can't She help. can't. Yeah. We had a bargain. She's earned a second chance. She's already been given one. She's living a second chance. I mean, there you go. At this point, just give her what she wants. I think she can see how much he does care for her, though. Angel, I've seen it now. Everything you're going through, everything you've gone through, I felt it. And she doesn't want to go felt through that. How you care. Mm -hmm. Where no one's ever cared before. Not for me. Yes. To die. Where 
was supposed to die in the first place. Oh. Damn. I don't want Darla to die. I'm gonna be by your side. Could you imagine if, like, Buffy showed up right now? <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? Really? No! <laughs> I don't want her back. Uh, no! It's a fucking crazy ass bitch. Oh, they're, she's gonna make her vampire. She gonna make a vampire. Hello, grandmother. <laughs> Don't you fucking do it. Don't you do it. Fucking crazy bitch. Don't you do it. Don't drink, Darla. Well, at least she's not gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, freaking Drew. I thought she was gonna say like, hello, grandmother or whatever. She didn't even say anything. And Drew's all about talking. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Uh, it's so, you know what, as much as I don't like Drew, though, they couldn't have done it better. They honestly couldn't have. Like, other than him just, like, ended up turning her, the only other better person to do so would be Drew. So, of course they did that. And, of course, like, Lindsay would allow it or create this thing to happen so that she would end up living. But then... She's not going to have a soul, so she's not going to be the same Darla. <sighs> but she's not going to die, so I have to be happy about that. At least not right now, she won't die, so. Oh, okay. <sighs> this was a good episode. Oh, all right. Um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.